I need a scuff controller too. Bro, wish me sent me a scuff uh controller, bro. That's like three hundred dollars. It broke in like a month. It's like, bro, like, why the, why the, the three hundred dollar controller break that easy? Like, worthless company. I need to get me a scuff sponsorship. Calm down, calm down, you old chill. Stop reaching, you loser. Calm the f down. My hamstring. It's supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, I got another lockdown build for y'all to stop the left right cheese in 2K22 current gen. Okay? I have made two other builds from different pie charts, but I'm gonna show you the best version for this particular pie chart if you were to make this. A lot of y'all build your your lockdowns wrong, so this is very important. Make sure you watch this full video, my boy. I'm going to show you why I made it the way that I made it and why I selected this. And I'm going to show you the best badges at the end for this build. A lot of y'all are brain dead. It's crazy. I'm like, I'm, I'm really telling y'all, man. I've been playing with 91% stage players. So many people that really just don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. And it's like... It's hella annoying because they getting dropped off by 31 percent in certain possessions. It's like, bro, you supposed to be, he shouldn't be able to score on you, bro. But anywho, let's get into it. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit that goddamn like, like button and turn on them post notices, man. Follow me on my streaming platforms and all my other socials, man. But look, so we're going to make him a shooting guard, bro. Do not make him a PG. You're not going to get rim protector. If you make a lockdown with no rim protector, he's garbage, bro. You need rim protector. If you play bots, you need rim protector. Dead ass. If you're not in the stage, even then, you still you need rim protector. Especially, bro, all of you watching this vid, you don't play stage. You really don't play stage, bro. You need rim protector, very important. If you made one without rim protector, you are putting your teammates through misery, bro. Dead ass, because you're never gonna get any stops in the paint unless it is a chase down, bro, okay? You need rim protector. You can only get it at shooting guard, bro. And you, I mean, you just can't get it at PG, but yeah, we gonna make them left-handed, continue. We are going to go with this pie chart right here. I've already made lockdown builds with the other pie charts. I'll show you right here. Um, I made a lockdown build with this pie chart and this pie chart so far. So if you want to make one based off those pie charts, you can click the links down below in the description. But for right now, we are going to choose this one, okay? Now, we are going to choose the speed physical profile because that is very important. Way more important than everything else. And here's what we gonna do, man. <laughs> I done forgot my screenshot. So look, we gonna max out all this shooting, right? We gonna have gold shooting. That's good enough to hit. Yeah, like, you got 17 badges, bro. If you really um, vicious with it, you can lower the badges um, if you know you can hit with gold and, and all that. But, you know, if you, you want a lot of badges to do all sorts of shit, you got 17, my boy. Okay? We're going to have seven playmaking badges, okay? Oh, 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 We are going to 
going to have 23 defensive badges, okay? It's pretty good. And here's what we gonna do right here, okay? So, um, the drive and dunk, um, we're gonna have some dunks that we're gonna get like be able to you know like dunk dunk so so it's cool it's cool to have your finishing like this this is the best version from this pie chart um unless you want to nuke the uh shooting and some shit like that and it's not worth it to be honest bro but this is the best you're gonna do um you can lower the finishing and put your offensive rebound up if that's what you want but yeah and you, of course, you're going to make them burly to appear even bigger than what you are going to be. Now, here is the real difference on what you want to do. Look, I see some people making smaller locks and still getting cooked, right? Uh, they Because to try to keep up, like, they'll be like this. But then guess what? If you go this slow, this small, bro, um, when the switch happens and you're on the center, bro, Bro, like, it's an instant score. But if you are taller, you're going to stop that. You're going to get some possessions to stop that. And then you already have a small PG on the court, correct? So if you, it's like, bro, anytime they try to bully the PG, it's an instant bucket. So then they do the same shit to you, it's an instant bucket. And then, like, they can just try and ISO you on an island and just instant buckets, instant buckets. And, bro. If you're going to go this small, the PG might as well be guarding ball. I ain't going to hold you, man. Um, It just seems like bigger is is better. Pause. Um, You get better. Uh, What's the word? You get better uh, like blitz animations, better reach animations when you're trying to get bump steals because that's how you really get steals. You don't get steals by pressing square right in front of them. You have to go for bump steals. And since you're bigger, you get more of those like geek, geek. You know, um, it's hard to explain, but if you're kind of decent, you might know what I'm talking about. Right here, this is up to you. I would six five, six six. Um, it's personally up to you, bro. Or maybe even six four. Uh, I don't know, but um, I I would choose six six. Uh, you can't go with six five. That would be cool. But yeah, I think six six is cool. We're going to go at 183 weight. And we are going to go with max wingspan, of course. We are, of course, going to choose lock take. Um, with how left right is and how unstoppable it is, bro. This is the only badge that's going to, like, secure uh, and save possessions, bro. I ain't going to hold you, dog. Uh, like, it can really save a game if you end up getting it. So, I would choose lock take. And voila, another Clay Thompson build. Hey, y'all think Clay Thompson better than Curry? I do. Fuck you talking about. Let's get into these badges, man. What y'all rate 2K22, man? You, you know what I hate about this community, man? Everyone dick sucked this game to get likes and retweets and shit. And now that there's problems, bro, they're like... Everything you said is just going to make it to where people aren't, like, going to get help with anything. We're going to pick Fast Twitch for uh, finishing. This is why y'all bitch-ass niggas need to stop making tweets, fishing for likes that ain't going to feed your fucking pockets for no reason, bro. You got to be on these niggas' heads, bro. They only change shit when everybody come together and fucking trip. Y'all niggas did all that complimenting for no fucking reason. You lame as fuck, bro. Lame. All, every one of you bitch niggas. Yeah, man. So, we're going to pick these badges for the uh, gold. <laughs> for the uh, shooting. <laughs> I'm tripping. Okay, so this seems good for uh, the playmaking. Um, You could take this down to this. And... Yeah, or this. The bullet Pastor has to be silver, um, no matter what. So look, for your defense, you could do something like this, but if you don't believe in pickpocket, or if you play a lot of people who rush the rim, you know, you could 
Hall of Fame this hoe. You could take this off completely and do something like this. Wait, hold on. Do something like this. You know, um, the badge setups are completely up to you. But uh, I think this would be best. Uh, Hall of Fame Interceptor is hella clutch this year. Since it's hard to get steals, this is going to be a way of getting a steal and getting them key possessions. But yeah, man. Um, if you like a stage player, like that rim protector, you know, then then you could like take it off. But bro, if you're playing box, bro, you you gotta get them stops in the paint, or it's like <laughs> they they just gonna it, it's gonna be way too hard of a game than what it needs to be. And yeah, man. Anywho, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. Hit that goddamn like button. Helps the algorithm. Comment down below. It helps the algorithm. I will be streaming today on Twitch and Facebook. So make sure y'all follow those. Support your boy out this hoe. Um, hope y'all niggas had a good Thanksgiving. Make sure you go to the gym eight days a week and drink a gallon of water a day. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down, yo, off the top of the dome, dome.